the old story about two ships setting out for the same destination, where they leave port in fog, but one starts one degree off course, and as the bad weather continues, three days later is lost and stranded miles away from anywhere. Is a good analogy for the value of evidence planning. You don't want your project to get lost. Evidence planning is about taking stock of the plan so you can forecast the impact of your project, organization, or business. You think about the impact you want to have on your beneficiaries, partners, and society and others, and it's vital. A tool like the evidence planning template helps you to see if you're putting the right resources in the right places to achieve the result you want. You can show what your business initiative builds on, where it generates value, where it adds value, and how it may fare in its ongoing journey. You can discuss its impact on current operations, judge what will happen in the future if you keep travelling in this particular direction, and propose any advisable changes, of course. You start by considering the main purpose of your organisation or idea. Then you consider what this enhances, what it replaces, what it limits and what it builds on. The better the evidence you have for each of these, the stronger your evidence planning will be. Once you have organised your evidence this way, you can keep it up to date by reviewing and revising it regularly. This will help keep you on track, as well as highlighting any potential problems early on. Impact measurement lets you base future action on a critical evaluation of robust evidence. It also lets you refine and communicate your goal. And that sort of impact impresses everyone. Hello, my name is Tarun and I took part in the Nesta exercise um, regarding the toolkit. Um, particularly, we use the evidence planning toolkit with our product development team. And my single greatest tip to give you would be that it helps you to test your assumptions. All of us, the ones who create products and who work with a lot of new ideas, we tend to go with our gut instinct. But when you start writing down your assumptions, you realize how many of them you're making. So I suggest you use the toolkit to validate your assumptions. Write them down, get your team to go and validate as many of the assumptions with empirical evidence and data, and you'll find that your products are a much better fit.